Okay, let's get ready to jump into using trigonometry to find a missing angle in a triangle. So the steps for this are similar to finding a side with some slight differences. The first thing that we want to do is you want to go ahead and identify that angle of focus. It's right there. So if you're identifying that angle of focus, the next thing you need to do after that is go ahead and label your sides. So similar to finding the sides, it's the same process. This is my opposite side. I label that. Then over there, I draw my arrow right there where the right angle is, and it points to my hypotenuse. And then last but not least, this is my adjacent one. Now, where it slightly differs is that I need to talk about the two sides that I have. Okay? So I know that I have my opposite side, because that's given to me, and I also have my adjacent side because I know that's given to me. So if I have the opposite and I have the adjacent, I gotta ask myself again, am I using so, am I using ka, or am I using toa? Well, if I look, it has to be toa, because that's the only one that has O and A. So that now means I'm using tangent. Now in the past, we were accustomed to saying, okay, tangent of some angle, which is a number we will plug in, and it would give us back out a value. But now we're going to introduce you into something we call the inverse function. Now the inverse function here does the opposite. So it'll be 10 to the negative 1. And sometimes you're going to see this arc tan, but we're going to focus on 10 to negative 1 because this is how you're going to see on the calculator you're using now. So you get 10 to the negative 1 of the value. And then that's going to spit back out for you the angle. So in our case, we're going to be using tangent, but we're going to use not tangent, excuse me, but tan to the negative 1. And the way we access that on our calculator is we press the blue second function, which is in the upper left-hand corner, and then we press the tangent button. And then now it's going to be tan to the negative 1 of opposite over adjacent. And that's going to give us our angle. So let's just do that, and let's get the value. So 10 to the negative 1 of opposite over adjacent. My opposite is 52. My adjacent is 22. And then I'm going to put what that's equal to. So second function, tangent of 52 divided by 22, close parentheses, enter. And that's going to give me 67. 0 0.06, I'm just write what it is, 67.0679, and they want me to round to the nearest degree. So if they want me to round to the nearest degree, that's just going to be 67. That's my final answer. Let's try another one. Same concept. Label those sides. I got my angle of focus right here. That must be my opposite side. Goku blasting the opponent. Draw my arrow here. That points at my hypotenuse. And the last but not least right here, we get the adjacent. So based off of that now, we can find all of our sides, right? Well, first thing we got to talk about is what are the two sides that we have? So I have my opposite. Good. And I also have my hypotenuse, right? So I have my opposite and I have my hypotenuse, so then I got to think, what's that going to be? So ka toa. Well, the only one that has O and H is going to be so. So then from here, we're going to say, okay, if so is the only one that has it, then let's go for it, right? So we're going to do sine to the negative one of opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse it always tells you what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom so then now my opposite is going to be 12 and my hypotenuse is going to be 17. so now i go to the calculator plug that in second function sign button and then i'm going to have 12 divided by 17. when i plug that into my calculator it's going to give me 44.9, and 
and some more digits going. But since we're rounding to the nearest degree, I'm focused really on this to tell me what I should do. Now, since that's above 5, I know I'm taking that up to 45 degrees. And that's it. 